Hello and welcome back to another episode of Army Men of War and this is what happened in the previous video. So if you did miss it, link will be in the description as the Oranges advanced on Valley Put and unfortunately was defeated. So we can see right here that the companies of Greens that defended Valley Put are taking out the companies of Oranges on the battlefield and it's kind of new this and I really like it. So we can see right here, look, that these Oranges are about to retreat. All these uh, companies of oranges, they're going to retreat back onto their boats now, and then they're going to get ready to leave. Then, meanwhile, the greens also pin down all of these orange companies over here, and they decide to surrender. So these surrendering oranges now are going to be collected by these greens, and you can see the orange boats there just retreated back to the fleet. So let's watch these greens come over here and round up all of these orange troops. It's like, yeah, go on, stick your hands in the air. You know, we're sending you to an orange gulag or something. No, a green gulag. I don't know why I said orange. But there we go. They've been captured now. And the rest of the companies, including um, General... What was his name? What do we call him? General Grattan. That was it. General Grattan. They're moving up now to resecure the wall. And if we look way in the distance over here, we can see that the orange navy is retreating. What's going on here? Okay. So we're going over here. Oh, we can see that the blues have mysteriously landed some beach... Some beach forces, some marines. Oh, there we go. Look, so we're going to be witnessing a marine battle right here. So I think what's going on is, I think the Greens sent an emissary to Blutania. And what they did was, they said, if you take this city, which I want you guys to name in the comments, like this Tangerian city, um, we will grant you fiefdom of it. But what they have to do in return is, they have to give military access to the Greens, which means that they can get their troops over safely and securely. But the only problem is, we can see that we've got part of Blue Tanya right here. But cutting across this wall between Blue Tanya and the Red Territory um, is hostile, hostile territory. So this hostile territory over here is Red Territory. And these guys are in a kind of an armistice. So they're still at war, but they're, not, they're in like a ceasefire. A bit like North Korea and South Korea. But what it's going to be doing is the, the Blues are going to be opposite Red Territory. So this may affect relations with the Reds. So anyway, I'll let you guys talk about that in the comments, see what's going to come from that. We're going to hover our cursor over here, shake it, and zoom right in to the battle. Right, so here we are on the battlefield, and we can see that the Blue Marines are moving up very fast, very fast and swiftly, and we can see that they're holding FN Fowls, so these are the Blue Marines. And the reason that they are on these beaches is because the Greens have made a deal with them. They've said, take this Tangerian city, grant us military access in this area, and we'll grant you fiefdom. You can have all of this city. And the um, the Blues don't really like the Tangerians anyway. So that has caused a bit of a, a bit of a ruckus with the Reds, because the Reds don't want the Blues holding this city, because you saw from the battle map that this is really, really close to Red territory, and they'll be kind of cornering the red, that Red territory on two sides. So if the Blues do manage to take the city, the Greens are going to give them the city. So that's why they're here. So anyway, we're up against a lot of orange military. We're, oh god, he, he's inside that one. Hmm. Oh no, he's a clone. And we're up, we're up against a lot of them. We've got these little mini tanks right here. We've got a lot of infantry beyond the walls. And we have a, a lot of machine gun positions right here. And we can see some Tans as well because the Tans are a subjugate state of the Tangerians. And that is because they went to war with each other dr during the Great Colonial Wars. Wow, they've really pushed forward right here. Let's bring up another wave of blues to counterattack. So instead of making the C, which is clearly there, look, you can see that I've decided to just make it a seamless ending map. So that way we can land tanks and stuff as well, because I don't think Men of War has the ability to land tanks from landing craft. So I've done it this way to make it a little bit more interesting. I think it works very well. So shout out to Mythic Ink Productions because he is responsible for these fouls right here. He ported them in himself and we had a lot of trouble getting them working. But we managed it in the end and they sound so cool. And they're single shots as well. You can definitely tell they're navy because of the hats that they're wearing. Oh, I said the hats they're wearing. But he just got his shot off. We're going to bring another way forward as well just to counter attack them a bit more because they're bringing a lot of men onto the beach, including their Dushka right here. Yeah, so this could be a very cool strategic position for the Greens in invading Tangeria. Oh, 
and witnessing a little bit of lag because of the amount of troops on screen. And they're using this cover very well. I'll tell you something, something that I don't think the Tangerians are using. And that's the Nerval workers. There they are. And we're going to use them on the beach because these things are quite a face. Oh, they are using them. Okay, I was wrong. I'm trying my best not to do much controlling because I know you guys like to see the AI control in most of this. But I have no idea who's going to win this battle. And the reason that I didn't upload yesterday is because I bought a doggo. Or a puppo. I don't know. Don't, what's, what's the words these days? But I bought a um, French bulldog. And he's... His name is Frankie. I think I'll get a picture of him right here. Look, look how cute he is. That's little Frankie right there. Yeah, and I was up all day yesterday trying to sort out a new bed for him and trying to get him sorted and get him settled in my apartment. So I didn't have the time to upload last night. I will try for daily uploads. Look at this. At 3 FPS. I want to bring another wave up, but I don't think they'll make it. And this tank made the big mistake of pushing forward because these guys are armed with AT grenades. These guys are very, very well trained. Don't mess with the Blue Marine. Oh, no. Still got a lot of men on the beach. We are losing some of the blue tanks there. That's not good. I was hoping the blue tanks could actually punch a hole inside the front line. But even if we do punch a hole right through this part here, we've got to do some street to street combat because they own all of the streets. They set up roadblocks. And this uh, town kind of reminds me of something from Black Hawk Down or something. Very suburban. And if the blues do manage to take this town in this video, they're going to push from the suburbs into the main city. So we'll be seeing a part two of this city. Which means I've got to make a whole new map again. I am trying my best to keep it looking exactly like the battle map. There is no stopping this Tangerian line. No stopping them. Still a lot of them left though. Slowly but surely moving on, and I do apologise about the lag. But that's something, that's a side effect of Men of War. Something that you can't help. Yeah, they're all pinned down. I'm not seeing many dead bodies though. Oh, there's a couple there. We look over here, look, we can see all the boats. We have got a tank left, he's lost his track. Oh no. Never mind. We'll see how well this wave does, and then we'll order another wave to move in. So this was a bit of a surprise, these blues attacking. You know, King Green, they must have made some sort of deal in one of the previous battles. Sent an emissary or something. Golly, these T-55s over here. Oh, he took a sniper to the face! This is an epic battle. Like I say, anything that happens in this video will affect what happens in the next. All dependent on the AI system. It's random every time. And I never record a video twice, so... Unless I mess up with the intro or something. Nine times out of ten I do. They're just not pushing forward, are they? They've still got an army of men. They're just pinned on this beach. This could be a mistake by the Tangerians though. They're forwarding men out of their positions. Which is kind of leaving them exposed. And these have got standard issue rifles. I think they're the Kakano rifle. And these guys are armed with modern day FN fouls. So, which will win? The Kakano rifle is a bolt action. And these fouls... Uh, I think they're 25 rounds, something like that, automatic. So these rifles have the upper hand at the moment. Gotta love the blues. It looks so cool. So the blues are moving up the beach. The Tangerians are attacking, they're counter-attacking, but holding their defense on the front line as well. And I believe they've even got soldiers coming back from the... Yeah, from the rear, reinforcing the front lines up. You can see them moving from building to building. I can't wait to push them into the city. It's going to be epic. Maybe the Blues could call in some green airstrikes or something. 
try and work with the Greens to overthrow the Tangerian government. Maybe put somebody else in power that's not raving mad. A raving lunatic. Look at that. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Uh, we need just a handful of dudes to push forward. I am contemplating taking control of just one squad of men just to break this front line. Because the further forward they are, the more they'll move their line forward, you see. But then again, they're doing it themselves, look. You can see, it's one step forward and two steps back. Look, they're moving forward and then they're getting pushed back again. And it's all because of these guys on the front. They're not lasting long at all, look. Not a wise decision. And the Tangerians would have had a lot more defences set up if they have, if they, if they, I can't get my words out, if they expected an attack from the Blues, but they didn't. They didn't expect an attack from the Blues or the Greens at this point. So this is a complete and utter surprise. So this right here is a GB coalition right here. They look Great Britain coalition. But these guys are not Great Britain, these are Blue Tania. So in the comments, why don't you guys name this city? Name the city. We need a Tangerian name. What do you think it could be? I think something Middle Eastern, something like that. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be cool to see what you guys come up with. Is that guy a machine gunner? No. Stand him up. No, he is. Oh, yeah, he is. That's it. I don't know why the rifle guy's shooting and not the machine gunner. really holding this line. I can bring more blues in at will, but I'm trying to not do it for the lag reasons. I think as soon as the wave has pushed them back a little bit, it'll be safe to drop some more troops off. Which they're doing, slowly but surely. This is a really cool battle. Still holding strong down here. I wonder where those uh, tan soldiers are. The subject of nation. They look a little bit different from the human world. Got a different uniform on. The oranges look very Ottoman. I'm really surprised at how well this uh, this wave is doing. I mean, how many waves have we used so far? Let's have a look. I think we've used... I'll hover over it. We've got seven more waves available and we've used three. So this is three waves of infantry and we've almost pushed up the beach. So that's that's good. That's really good. They are a little bit more trained than the standard infantry soldier. No, that's an epic scene right there. Using these tank barriers as cover. Not doing too well for the tanks though. I suppose it's a bit like Saving Plastic Ryan. Or Saving Private Ryan, where they've got to take the shingle, which would be this area right here, and then they've got to go, Dark One is open! And that's when all of them start running up the beach. Tangerian's holding well, but now they're getting pushed back, look. You can see the amount of soldiers that are being pushed back. The battle for the suburbs. There's still a lot of squads moving up to reinforce the front line. And that is a big central like, part right here. Look, look at this. We've got a T-55 tank with the nice ta a Tangerian flag right there. And... Yeah, they're really, they're really untouched here. I think we've lost one, two, three men. Three men in the centre. So there's a lot more men to take out. Blues just need to push a little bit further up the beach to pin down. Very pinned down. But they're moving up, look. Now they're taking cover. Oh. Down goes Blue. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's the closest guy. Will he survive, though? Will he survive? What are you doing? Use the cover. No, stay in the crater. He's going he's gonna to get sniped. No doubt. He's going to get sniped. But that's good that he's moving forward because now he's going to rally the troops and they're all going to push forward as well. This is a good sign. Oh my god, he's going all the way. He's actually going all the way. What is your name, soldier? We must remember your name. 
Jeremy Clark. You go, Jeremy. I want to see if he makes it or not. That's it. Right there. Right there. Go, Jeremy. Whoa. No, don't, no, don't stand up. Don't stand up. Jeremy Clark. The first Blue Marine Division. He's kicking some ass, really. Look at that. How many kills are we looking at so far? Don't want to get him killed. Don't want to get him killed. One kill. He's got one kill. Okay. This may be good. The rest of the Blues are moving up now. Let's have a look. These guys are like, is that Jeremy? That's Jeremy. Let's come on, guys. Let's get over there. Come on. Jeremy's like rallying all the troops. Look. Oh, this could be good. This could be really good for the Marines. What a hero. This central position right here acting as a bunker from this tank. These three riflemen have found Jeremy though and they're exchanging fire. But like I say, three Carcano rifles, bolt action are nothing against the FAL. An FN foul. Oh, we've got another soldier moving up. Now this could be the moment where they push into the suburbs. Got another very defended position right here. This is three mini tanks right here. Wish I knew the names. I love the numbers on them. 507, 604, 455, 923. So we're going to deploy these blues. See how far. Let's see how far we can do. Just just three weaves. No. Was that Jeremy? Well, he was a hero, Jeremy. We're going to write stories about you, old buddy. The hero of the Blue Nation. We need a national anthem, something like Rule Blue Tanya. Get copyrighted on that or something. But now the Blues have a foothold right here on the shingle. And it's only took three waves to seven more waves. But this is a full blue marine division. And they're not stopping, they're just not stopping whatsoever. More reinforcements inbound though. Again, Tangerian old-fashioned equipment, no match. The only thing they're really good with is tanks. Tangerian tanks, what, 867. It's going to be hard to take out this tank right here. These Marines are armed with nothing but AT grenades and AP grenades. AT is anti-tank and AP is anti-personnel. One of these is going to move up the left-hand side now. We're near enough and ready for another wave. See how well these guys do first. Keep it fair. There's no point in wasting blue lives. We need to get a hashtag blue lives matter in the comments. Oh, this could be good. All those fouls on one position. Now all they need to do is send one guy round. Get him around there and take this thing out with a grenade. I'll leave it up to the AI. Now this is going to be some house-to-house -house combat. This is where it's going to get interesting. Oh, I love that. It's like a proper little bunker. There's a machine gun on the coaxel and there is a machine gun in the cockpit. Is that what it's called? I think it is. Something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. This soldier is very uh, distinctive because he has no hat. Yeah, and one day he's going to write a book for the Blues back in Blue Tanya, and he's going to be like, How I Lost My Hat by... What's his name? Let's have a look at his name. John Powell, apparently. So, he's going to be an author someday. How I Lost My Hat by John Powell. The other books, such as the... the I was there, the beaches of Tangeria. Oh, we've got a few guys around here. This is going to be pretty cool. Oh, that's a perfect position right there. Oh, they've, they've got behind him. Dude, you just need to get one AT grenade. Can you guys do it? Okay, we've got two. Nope, we've not got two. We've got, yep, just two soldiers. Three soldiers over here. I'm trying to push on these blues. Some street to street combat here. Oh my god, this is so cool to watch. It is really cool to watch. I love commentating stuff like this. More moving up. 
They've pushed through this defense. We've got a handful of Tungerians over here. Trying to reinforce the area, but again, only Carcano rifles. Bolt action against FN fouls. These are the these are the bees knees of technology in this uh, sort of era. And we're looking at 1940 to 1960 at this current moment. The Blues haven't even got off the beach on the left hand side yet, and I think that's because of this T-55. That's if it's still active, let's test it. Yep, it's still active. Let's get a shot off with it. Yeah, one shot. I don't even kill anyone, I don't think. Yeah, that's stopping all blues advancing on the left-hand side. But like I said, we've got a lot more waves left to come if we need to need be. But we don't want to waste lives. We don't want to waste lives. This is a decisive blow to the Tangerians. And also a revenge tactic for the Greens. The Greens don't really need this city. The only problem is, it might just annoy the Reds. And the Reds might declare war on the Blues again. What do you guys think? Still got a Tan Tank over here. Again, acting as a stationary bunker. Just missed him. Just missed him. I think, should we do Dog 1 is now open? Let's do it. Dog 1 is now open. Or should we call it Blue 1? Blue 1 is now open. Let's watch the next wave come in. This time they're going to bring some tanks as well. But this should be the wave right here. There they come. Needs to move up this beach. They've got to work their way around these tank barriers right here. That's a lot of men. I love the look of these tanks. There's just something about them. These nice little plastic things at the center. At the center. At the start of the. Uh, what are these things called? The tracks. That's it. The tracks. Let's see how the battle's going on in the city. The noble workers are still active. Well, only one is actually. And there goes the T-55. I told you, if a blue marine gets near the T-55, a T grenade boom. The oranges are still fighting house to house. It's turning into the Battle of Berlin now. Or the Battle of Stalingrad, whichever one you prefer. Very similar battles, if you ask me. I think um, the Battle of Berlin was a it was an absolute slaughter, wasn't it, for the, the German people. And I think that was because, because of the leadership. The leadership didn't really care about their own people, did they? Towards the end. I don't want to name names just in case it gets picked up for demonetization. Noble worker moving up. Hopefully, this tank can counter those noble workers. We've got another tank moving up there as well. That'll be interesting. They're all in. Oh, they're in the all clear over here. Blue's moving up. We've got plenty of men in reserve, but we're not going to advance any further than the suburbs because. Um, that's, that's not a good move. We're going to take the suburbs, secure the area, land all the other seven waves on the beach, a full division of blues, and then we're going to push into the centre of town, which no doubt is more reinforced than the more reinforced than this area right here. Noble worth is still very active. But look at that, look at all the blues moving up. There's a lot of blues moving into position now, targeting this noble worker. To the point where the troops have just completely abandoned their position. Oh my god, all oh, these guys must have got back on their one. Well, all you need to do is one shot. Don't shoot there. Do not shoot there. Big mistake. Grenade out, grenade out, I think. Well, do you know what? I've got to do it, I've got to do it. Oh, you know, he's reloading. That's why. It's all up to you, Mr. Orange. Oh no, he's not going to reload in time. That's going to be a grenade, it's going to be a grenade. No, it's not. Oh, there we go, you got him. Oh no, you got a grenade in there in the end. Let's watch it blow. Oh, nothing, it did nothing. Oh, I keep forgetting these are plastic grenades. Oh dear. <laughs> We've got just a couple of oranges left down here now, Tangerians, and they're being closed on by a full platoon of blues right here. 
Wow, look at this. And this tank does not care about houses if you're driving right through them. As tanks do though, you don't have to care about houses to the tanks. Why well, they're so big. But we can call that a blue victory thing. So we're going to land all the troops on the beach now. And then we're going to proceed into the center, the city center of this Tangerian town. So like I say, name this town in the description, in the description, in the comments. And yeah, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.